Hi. Hi. Coco, you know. Methane produced by cows con- contributes a large amount of greenhouse gas emissions. What do you think of the idea of putting a tax on nitrogen production from farming? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Farmers are among the most vulnerable population to climate change. I wouldn't want to implement a policy that hurts them. I see your point, but Denmark has recently become the first country to implement a Belgian manual tax. And I think they offer the world a good example. What did they do? In twenty thirty, farmers will have to pay three hundred kroner, the equivalent of forty three dollars, for every ton of methane they produce. And in twenty thirty five, they'll have to pay seven hundred and fifty kroner for the same thing. But unlike other carbon taxes, farmers will automatically get a sixty percent refund. And if they use effective technology to reduce methane, the refund will increase. That's indeed a good strategy. It creates an incentive for them to be more climate friendly. What's more, this policy also includes restoring farmland to peatlands that can store greenhouse gases underground. I imagine that this is an important progress for Denmark, since nearly two thirds of its land is used for agriculture production, and it also exports a lot of pork and dairy product to other countries. The country has struggled to meet its climate goals because of the emissions from agriculture. Yes, this policy will help Denmark cut its emissions greatly, but at the same time, there are other things that Denmark can work on. Denmark imports much of its Feed plant like、um, soybean from Latin America, which means that it is contributing to the expansion of agricultural land, deforestation, and increase in emissions in countries like Brazil. I think that would be a good idea for them to invest in projects that boost soybean production in Brazil to avoid contributing to deforestation. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.